I really like this case, but I must take it off to do this video. Because it's not very friendly when you lay it down on the table and you have to press buttons. It likes to move around. But I can honestly say this case has been on my phone since the moment I got it. And I'll put it back on my phone after this video. This video is going to be a review of an app that I've been using lately, and I freaking love it. It's awesome. First thing you want to do is click the first link you're going to see in the description. Well, it should be one of the first links. It's going to take you to this page right here on XDA Developers. It, or not XD Developers, um, Modaco.com. This is Paul O'Brien's, um, his own website. So all you're going to do is scroll down here until you see download. You'll click on it. And then it's going to take you to some little thing where you got to like put in the the code. It says to please enter tough enough. Of course yours will be different. I'm just giving you this example. Click download. Oh, I got it wrong. There we go. It initiated the download. And now it's done. Just install it. If, if this doesn't pop up and it has a little settings icon, all you've got to do is go to settings and then go to security and then go to unknown sources and make sure that's checked. When you first check it, it'll pop up and say OK. Now I need to go back to my downloads. For some reason, this particular one doesn't have a download app, so I'm just going to install this free app from the Google Play Store called ES File Explorer. It's got some functionality that Root Explorer has, but not all of it. But it's a great alternative to Root Explorer, and it's free, so that's why I am doing this. So you go to your downloads or wherever you happen to have it, and then you'll find it in here. You'll see... Uh, right there, com, Modaco, right there, and then you'll just press install, and then you'll open it up, and it tells you which version you have right there. This version is supposed to have a built-in auto-update feature, so like, if there's a newer version, it will notify you, and there's also a pro version. If you click the view supported topic, it's going to take you to that link that I saved on my home screen, so you're not done yet. It says you must be rooted, you must have the exposed framework installed, you must accept notifications are used at your own risk, or well, modifications. You do not distribute the toolkit, including custom ROMs. Link back to this topic, so that's what I'll do in this video. Hit the follow button at the top right, the main Windaco toolkit, to be notified of updates. Got that? Okay. So we already downloaded that. This just gives you a description of all the neat little things it has and then the exposed framework is here we are on the HTC one so we're going to click that but the exposed framework can also be found uh right here exposed and so we're on the HTC one so instead of clicking that link we're going to click this link right here for further instructions it's going to take us to XDA developers and then we're going to we've already downloaded the APK it says to click install update download this zip all right so we're going to download this one and then again it once again that link links you back to modaco so i'll just link to this one right here so you don't have to keep clicking through different forums and getting linked to all a bunch of different places you just go right here to this forum and then click download And that's going to download the exposed thing. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go back to ES File Explorer. And then I'm going to go to the exposed installer right here. And then I'm going to install it. And when that installs, I'm going to press open. And then I'm going to press install update. And then cannot read exposed frameworks uninstalled. All right, let's go back to that again. Install update. Grant root permission. Mounting system is writable. And then press OK. And all we got to do is reboot. So and you can just click this convenient little thing right here. 
press OK, and it'll just reboot you, and you just wait for it to boot back up. We're actually nearing the final stages of this, and then you'll be able to actually do all the tweaks and etc. So you'll find a link to this right here in the description below, and then right under that you'll find a link to the other thing for the HTC One that has the specific uh, instructions. It says you're supposed to go into recovery and flash a uh, zip in your custom recovery, but this is the Sprint variant, and I don't know if that zip is meant for the international version. And to be completely honest with you, without flashing that zip and just running that uh, exposed installer APK right here, I've had this work just fine. So that's what it says after everything's all done. And for modules, you can see right here the Modaco, to Modaco Toolkit, and you do need to reboot once again. So we'll just press, uh, this time we'll press Soft Reboot and press OK. Alrighty, open that up. One last time, just make sure everything's all good to go. Go to the modules, and that is checked and ready to go. So now we can open up that Modaco Toolkit, and there's so many options in here to play with. For Google, this is really, really neat. You can press this right here, and it will start downloading the Google Wallet APK. And then you can also disable wallet checks. I'll do a separate video on that just because people are going to want to know how to install Google Wallet on here. And it also says it's an app that's not compatible. So you can force the Play Store to 720p if your Play Store isn't showing up that way. Of course, then there's that right there, present app, prevent app disabling. For system, there's allow all rotations. So you can like have it any direction you want it to be. Device properties, disable for lock, enable app buttons for software menu, this is pretty neat. Because, check this out. If we open up something like um, Speed Test, see, there's no, um, there's no button right there at all. Okay, something's not showing up right here. I'm not getting that menu button because now when you hold this, it takes you to your menu. Normally, you'd press a little three dot bar down there and it says about, but I did this before this video, testing it out, and it obviously worked, but now I'm trying to figure out how to, okay, this is what that is, all right, so if we go here, my bad, I'm sorry, I was messing up, if we go down here to um, display gestures and settings, you'll see that there's this back button thing. Now, always go back is what it's set to by default. And so when we open up apps like Facebook, there's that three dot bar thing here at the bottom. There we go. And you press that and there's that about thing. And then we open up apps like speedtest.net. It also has the little menu thing down here. Several applications still use that because they're not ICS compliant. I talked about this in my full review of this phone, which can be found in my playlist that I'll link to in the description that has all of my HTC One videos in it. So, the Modaco Toolkit is pretty cool. I had that checked, and then I uninstalled the app, and then reinstalled it. So, I don't know if that's why it's it was on, even without it checked. I'm not quite sure, but I promise you... If you go down here to settings and then you go down to display gestures and buttons, you will not see this back button. You will only see double click speed. That's all you will see. So now you have this and you can have it for press for back, press and hold for menu. So now when you open up apps like speed test, look at that. It got rid of the little menu bar down there. Let's try that with Facebook. And, come on, disappear. It disappeared. Look at that. You get the entire screen, top to bottom. And if you want your menu button, it's as simple as holding down, holding down the back button, and you get about. That's pretty freaking awesome. So apps that have, or games even, that you're playing, and it has that stupid thing on the side that's always there for your menu, since the phone doesn't have a physical menu button, not any more i don't know of any apps uh, other than facebook and speedtest.net that had that there by default always but it's not there anymore because of the modaco toolkit so let's just run down all the other things that's just one of the coolest things so make sure you check that 
And then when you go to your settings and then display buttons and gestures, you'll see the uh, back menu right above the double click speed button right there. Or option, sorry, not button. So let's, let's just go ahead and run through all these real quick. So we have the system, um, enable app buttons, force software menu, hide the battery meter, disable forward lock, device properties, allow all rotations. So then for wireless, you have enable NFC when screen is off. Very cool. Some people like to use NFC and they don't want to have to unlock their phone just, just to tap a um, one of those little NFC tags. I actually have some. I just don't have any programmed and I don't even have any app right now to program them and that would just waste more time. But even with your screens off, you could tap a tag and if it's set to like navigate you home in your car or turn down your ringer and stuff, you don't have to unlock your phone to do that. So that's pretty neat. Amazon MP3. Force US local, Facebook, force home compatibility. Facebook will detect your real model. Facebook will detect your device as Facebook home compatible. Download Facebook APKs. Takes you to the website and then you can choose which one you want to download in this thread. Sling player, disable legacy warning. Trackball alert if you have like a Nexus 1 or something that has that trackball. The Google Asus Nexus 7 show camera in launcher. So you don't have to download that separate app just to launch your camera. And for the HTC One, you've got don't disable ADB. That's that thing that's the, you know, the back button setting right above the other setting. If we uncheck it and we go to settings. And then display buttons and gestures. It's still there. Like I said, I checked it, uninstalled the app, and then reinstalled the app. So I don't know if that's why it's just there permanently for now on. But I promise you, that is not there by default. Hide kid mode on power menu. I have a custom ROM. So when I hold down my power button, I see like... Restart airplane mode mobile network take screenshot and I can restart into a hot reboot safe mode recovery bootloader, etc I did a video on this custom ROM again. That's in my playlist full of all my HTC one videos I'm gonna do a review of this ROM shortly show blink feed in launcher This is pretty cool. And this is one of the last things I'm gonna show you. All right, so if you go home You'll see That you have Blink feed right there in your launcher so you can take that and drag it somewhere on one of your screens. Like this, like a shortcut. That was one thing that I I think I've totally missed. That's about it. This is my review and first look at Modaco Toolkit by the one and only Paul O'Brien. Remember, you have to have the exposed installer right here. It's that icon. You got to have that because you can install Google Wallet using it, but Google Wallet will have a little thing that says unsupported device. Yes, Google Wallet will still work, but it will have that stupid warning there and with the exposed installer and Modaco's toolkit right here, go to Google and then disable wallet checks. It will not check for root and it will not say device incompatible or whatever. I know you can still use it, but come on, this cleans up that stupid warning and freeze up space on your screen and you don't have to stare at it every time you launch your Google Wallet app. So it's very, very nice. And not only that will instantly start the download of the Google Wallet APK right there. And you can just download it and install it, but I'm gonna cancel that. See, there's the downloads. Why didn't it show me the downloads before? That's about it. Again, Links to the Monaco Toolkit will be in the description below. Links to the exposed thing will be in the description. Both of them will link you to the Modaco forums instead of getting the runaround and going from one link to XDA to Modaco. I'll take you directly to the source and they'll be the most convenient links possible. There'll also be links to follow me on Twitter. If you want to stay up to date on new videos and new phones and etc. I do have some exciting news, but I'm not going to release it to the world. If you follow me on Twitter, you probably know what I'm talking about. That's it. You've got to follow me on Twitter to find out.
that's all there is to that. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. I will do a separate video on the Google Wallet and showing you that it works, the unsupported device, etc. That'll be a separate video. So huge thanks to Paul O'Brien for putting together this awesome toolkit instead of going separate different places and try to find everything for yourself. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you don't subscribe, you'll seriously miss out on a lot of awesome videos that are coming very soon. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.